The built-in SwiftUI photo speaker is designed primarily for simplicity and quick image selection, which is why it does not include built-in editing capabilities like cropping or adjusting the selected photo. Apple intentionally keeps photo speaker lightweight to fit seamlessly into SwiftUI's declarative style without overwhelming developers with too many options. However, if you need to let users aid edit their images, you'll need a custom solution. In this video, I will show you step-by-step -step how to integrate UI Image Picker Controller with editing enabled so you can offer a smooth, customizable photo editing experience right inside your SwiftUI app. And if you want to learn SwiftUI in just four weeks, go ahead and check out the discounted link in the description. Now today I'm going to uh, have the first part of a series, a two part series, uh, about picking images uh, with your uh, iPhone, with your device. Now in this first tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do it uh, just to uh, grab an image from your uh, air library. And then on the second one, we are going to go onto the camera. And we're going to wrap it all up to just have like nice selection. You want to choose between the library and camera and all of that stuff. Now, most probably you already know the photo speaker, but I'm not going to go with a photo speaker. There are tons of tutorials out there with a Swift UI photo speaker because you cannot actually edit the selected image or the captured image with the photo speaker. For that, to be able to edit, you know, just crop in and just, uh, you know, just zoom or whatever you want to do with your selected image, you just need to have to dig down into UI kit. And we're going to use the UI uh, image picker view controller. So for that, we are going to uh, learn a little bit about representables. And uh, that is the first thing that we are going to do today. So let's just create a new file. Let's uh, have a new empty file. Uh, let's just call this uh, UI image picker. Okay, there we go. And uh, I'm going to import Swift UI. And uh, I'm going to create that struct. So struct and then UI image picker. And this will adhere to the UI image uh, UI view controller representable. There we go, a UI view controller representable. Of course, now it's just suggesting some stuff, uh, which we're going, I'm just going to ignore it because uh, I just want to type it out uh, together with you. So let's add all of these stubs, click on fix, and then we have a type alias, UI view controller uh, type. And for that, we are going to have the UI image picker controller. We have our type alias. Now it's time to add in our uh, make and update. So we have the update UI view controller type of uh, UI picker. That's right. You make UI view controller and the update. Okay. So those are in. Uh, we want to, uh, well, on the update, we don't actually need anything. So we can just leave it out as that. And right over here, we are going to create an image uh, picker equals UI image picker controller. And then I'm just going to, uh, uh, yeah, we are going to set the delegate in just a second, but for now, I'm just going to return the image picker. So everything uh, should be fine by now. Let's hit command B and uh, it's building, build has succeeded. Great. Ready to finally name SwiftUI? Join me at SwiftUI Camp, a live Zoom bootcamp built to get you building real apps fast. No boring lectures or endless tutorials. We're talking real hands-on learning, step-by-step -step guidance and support all the way through. Whether you're dreaming of launching your own app or leveling up for a new job, this is for you. Right now, you can join for 80% off for only $1.99, but the deal's only good until May the 7th. Spots are limited, so grab yours while you can. Link is in the description. So this is how we actually present a UI image picker, but we also need to add some sort of a listener, you know, just listening to changes with the UI image picker controller. And for that, we are going to create uh, that uh, coordinator. First of all, let's create the coordinator. Let's just go through it. And then I'm going to connect the delegate method for the image picker right over here, what we saw uh, previously. So right over here, I'm going to create a class 
Now this could be inside your representable or whatever. It, it, it could be outside. I prefer it to be inside. So we have our coordinator. Let me just see. So it has to be an NS object, UI navigation coordinator delegate and UI image picker controller delegate. Okay, so uh, that's great. Now we want to add some initializers, but uh, I'm going to have, let me just see what's going on right over here. Yeah, we have the make coordinator. We need to add the make coordinator. Let's take care of that first. So on the make coordinator, we are going to return our coordinator that we just added right over here. So that should take care of that error. Really nice. Now, let's just think about it. First of all, uh, I want to make sure that this is going to actually be dismissed when we tap on the console button or whenever we select anything. So for that, we want to grab our environment. So at environment of dismiss, this will be a private var dismiss. But uh, this can be accessed uh, with a capital E. This can be accessed only on the view controller representable. It cannot be done accessed inside the coordinator class, of course. So we are going to move it inside. How can we do that? Well, we need to access our parent. So let parent equal of type. So not equals, but because we are going to give it uh, when we are initializing it. UI image picker. So now the parent has access to our um, dismiss environment. So right over here, I'm going to get, go ahead and add parent. And that, that is self. Okay, so now that we have our parent, we also uh, need to move outside the selected image. And yeah, it cannot be constructed because we need to have an initializer and that should fix that warning right over there. Great, because this is not a class, of course. Okay, so uh, we also need to move outside from the coordinator our image. So that would be a binding. So add binding var selected image of type UI image. Great, that's the one that we want. Also, now we want to add uh, selected selected image, a binding of optional UI image. And uh, yeah, we don't, we're not going to add any default values for that. And then self dot underscore selected image equals our selected image because we want to select it's a wrapped uh, value. Okay, so uh, let's move this also. Yeah, also we are going to create a binding for the selected image on the view controller representable right over there because uh, it's just going to be used, you know, just move outside uh, the selected image or from the UI image picker. So right over here, we can just uh, fix that and just uh, dollar sign selected image. Okay, it's getting there. We have a binding of the selected image. Now we want to, want to listen to the delegate methods from the UI image picker controller. And uh, let's just take care of the cancellation action. Maybe just, you just tap on the cancel and just want to dismiss. And that is uh, the delegate method for that is the image uh, picker controller did cancel. And I'm just going to so, say parent dot dismiss. It's just going to dismiss our sheet. You will see that we are going to present this in, inside the sheet. Now, if we do select uh, some images, we are going to be triggering the image picker controller picker did finish picking media with info. And uh, uh, the actual info has the image uh, data. So we want to uh, grab it. And for that, we want to say if let uh, UI image equals now info original image. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. And then we're just going to have the selected image set to that UI image. And then of course we are just going to dismiss. AI is happening a really nice right over here. Okay, so uh, that's that. We have our dismissal, also the selection. And then on the parent, we are going to dismiss when we are selecting. Now, one thing to note right over here, remember when we tried to create our image picker right over here, it just suggested that we also add in our delegate. Okay, let's do that. Uh, equals. And it, what is the delegate? Well, it is the context coordinator, which is this class right over here. So now the delegate methods are all connected to our uh, 
uh, make UI view controller image picker right over here. Okay, it's all set up, but this is being done by the uh, uh, default Swift UI uh, photo speaker already. Remember, I told you we want to have some sort of an editing mode. And for that, we just need to add another property on the image picker. Yes, allows editing. And we want to set that to true, which is really, really nice. Okay. Uh, one other thing that uh, I'm going to add right over here, which is basically optional because it starts off with that, is that uh, we are going to select only images. So we should be able to select uh, only images. In this case, it's a UI image picker. We don't care about the videos and uh, all the other stuff. So for that, I'm going to add right over here some more properties, image picker, media types, public.image. Yeah, it's just guessing my mind. And then image picker dot source type the photo library. Exactly. Now, I just added uh, this right over here because I'm kind of foreshadowing my next video on this tutorial se or series. And that is currently with this one, we can just select an image from our photo library. What we are going to do next time is that we are going to also allow the camera to be, uh, you know, just picking some, um, uh, you know, just taking some images and just using those. So now let's just see how this looks like. Let's just go into the content view and we are going to actually create a button. So right over here, let's create a, a button and then let's just have, yeah, pick an image is just fine. Uh, for now we are all, yeah, mm, let's just use the one with the button and action and label because we are going to take it uh, for the next step uh, later on. So for now, we are going to have a text of pick image. Pick image, that's perfectly fine. And then we are going to have um, selected image at binding var selected image. Okay, uh, that's great. And also, uh, let's just remove the preview right over here. We are going to have a state variable of showing this as a sheet. So at state, yeah, it's uh, uh, suggesting really nicely. So at uh, is showing image picker bool set to false. By the way, this should be not a binding, but a state private var selected image. Okay, so we are just going to toggle it. It's showing picker image, that's great. And then we want to show this inside a sheet. So let's just have a dot and sheet is presented with the content. Yes, that's fine. And then the content will be the image picker. Well, actually the UI image picker, UI image picker with the selected image. We're just going to bind it. And uh, yeah, I think there's a typo right over here from AI. Great. Okay, so now we are going to present it. And also please know that uh, this will just cut it off at the, um, safe area uh, guidelines. So we are just going to head uses, uh, let's just see, safe area, uh, ignore safe area. That's right. So we want to ignore the safe area on the sheet. So now let's just build in front and test it out. Will it have succeeded, which is always a good sign. Okay. Let's just click on a pick image and we should see the yeah, there we go. Uh, we just selected one. And then if we select any of these, we may crop. So if I hold down option, there we go. I can just zoom in and just move it around. This is the end for, this is what we wanted. This is not possible with uh, the Swift UI photo speaker. And then let's just choose. And for some reason it crashed. I don't know why, but uh, trust me, it's, it's just going to go into the selected image. And let's just test this out. I'm just going to have an image. So if the selected image is, uh, is there, so let's just do it like so. So if selected image, so it's not nil, then I'm going to resize the schedule. Yeah, this is fine. This is great. So let's just do this. Scale to fit. Pick image, I'll just pick one of our images and let's just scale it, there we go. And then just move it around maybe, let's just choose it. There we go, we have our image, but we have the whole image. We have the original image. 
So I did this intentionally because most probably you are going to go into this trap also. Let's just go back and take a look at how we are handling the selection of the image. Remember, we have this original image. So we want the edited image if it's available. So let me just copy this out and then um, let's just have an else and paste it in there. Uh, if we have an edited image, then use that. If we don't have an edited image, then use the original image. Of course, that also has to be available. So let's build it on one final time for this round. And now we should actually see the, the uh, edited image. Let's pick up the image. Let's do that. Let's edit it. So there we go. Option and just hold it and maybe just move it around and then let's just choose it. And there we go. Now we have the actual edited image, which is really, really nice. We don't have this in Swift UI. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing when you are using your camera. So we are going to take a picture with our camera. So make sure to check out also the link in the description for Swift UI Cam.